Hello, my name is Robert and in this video I will review the brand new Wacom Ergo stand for the Wacom Cintiq Pro 24. Wacom was kind enough to resend me the Cintiq Pro, this time thankfully alongside the Wacom Ergo stand that I've already attached to the Cintiq Pro. So I will take this for a spin and let you know what I think. The Wacom Ergo stand comes in this very very big box and it's also very heavy and after opening it up you will be greeted with a quick start guide that you should study carefully. It's very well illustrated and actually explains everything very well. So you should take some time to study the steps so you don't run into any issues when setting up the Ergo stand. It took me about 30 minutes to set everything up and you don't need any special tools for that. So it's pretty straightforward. With the Ergo stand you have multiple options on how you want to work. So this one is like the, the flat option, so you basically lay it flat. But you can also hold down these two handles and then you can actually pull it up and change the angle. So you can, for example, change it to a way like this. So you can sit and, and work and then about, uh, I don't know, what is it? Like maybe 80 degrees, 70 degrees. But of course, and this is really cool, you can also take it and push it up and it will lock in. So for example, you can also work like this if you want. So that's, that's really handy. Um, of course, you can tilt it to any angle. So you can work up standing. And um, of course, you can make it all flat. And this will actually be locked in. So with this little, with this little button here, um, it's, it's made sure that it's locked. And of course, you can still rotate it into any direction. Uh, any angle as you want and, and the rotation function is is built so that it actually locks in so as, as soon as you rotate it you will see that it locks in into the 90 degree angle so you can hear a little click but it's also very easy to just um, change it and um, yeah if you want to pull it back down all you have to do is you have to push this little button and it will unlock and now you can give it any angle that you like if you've ever worked with a Wacom Ergo stand and a Cintiq Pro, then you might have noticed, even with previous generations, that the, the actual stand is pretty big and also pretty heavy. Why is that? Well, let me show you. It's actually a pretty clever design feature. You can pull it towards you and then you can have it overlap over the edge of the table. So the whole structure is supporting the Cintiq Pro, which has a pretty heavy weight on its own. But um, given the way it's designed, so you can have it overlap almost sitting at your lap and you can just scribble, draw, retouch, do whatever you want uh, while you can still rotate the whole tablet. So you can rotate it into any angle that you like. Um, of course, you can uh, rotate in Photoshop as well. Uh, you can rotate the canvas, but uh, rotating the tablet itself is just like as you would rotate a piece of paper in front of you. So this is a very, very nice feature to be able to actually have it overlap and you can just make your set up the way you like it best to be more flexible and ergonomic. Let me show you some of the design details and technical specifications of the Wacom Ergo stand. So we can take this cover off and then you will see that there's a little cable organizer right here. So a total of four cables can go through here. And currently I have the Cintiq Pro attached with the Cintiq Pro engine. So there's very little cables. So these are actually the two power cables. One is the Cintiq Pro and the other one is the Cintiq engine. And um, if you would have it connected to your PC or your Mac, you would have obviously USB cables, uh, power cables, as well as maybe network or uh, HDMI cables run through, through these holes here. And of course you can have more than one cable go through one of these holes. But actually the design is quite nice because there's a little cable channel that goes through here all the way through the arm. So this is covered with a black plastic here. So you don't see any cables, um, which I think is really nice. So the cables go through here, through here, into the middle, where it will attach to the Cintiq Pro and the Cintiq Pro engine. So if we unscrew those four screws, we can take off the cover. 
And then you will see how the cables are actually going through these channels into the Cintiq Pro engine. They would actually go into the Cintiq Pro if you don't have the engine module installed. But you can also see how nicely the rotation mechanism is designed. So if I pull this up a little, you can see that we have a little bit of space for the cables and everything moves, although everything can be rotated and changed in the angle. So this is how this whole thing is designed. So here you can see the massive metal part that is being attached to the Cintiq Pro with those four screws. And this part actually attaches or slides in into the vacuum ergo stand. And there's a little gap here that allows the rotation function. All the cables go through here, through the side, into the Cintiq Pro engine or the Cintiq Pro. And as you can see, this shape so that the actual Cintiq Pro engine can be moved in and out, um, although this is attached. And um, you take this and you slide it into the Wacom Ergo Stand second part. So finally, I can really recommend the Wacom Ergo Stand for the Cintiq Pro. It is really built for this device, specifically for this device, for the 24 or 33 inch models and it really boosts your productivity. It also boosts your ergonomics in terms of how you work, um, allowing it to rotate into any direction, um, changing the height and the angles. It's just really a pure joy to work with this. Of course, you can use it without the ergo stand, but then you have to have it either flat or with the uh, given angle that the Cintiq Pro gives you. But using the ergo stand, is just a joy to work with. It's almost like working on a canvas, so I can really recommend it. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these types of videos, but also tutorials, and hope to see you next time.